What is up, comic collectors and comic book hunters? It is your host with the most, Will the Comic Bees, back with another episode of Just the Keys. Today, we're taking a look at all the key books coming out on the April 12th New Comic Book Day. I hope you're all ready. We got a lot of awesome books here today, and I hope you're just ready to watch. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I take a look at all the keys that you need to pick up on the upcoming New Comic Book Day. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's get into this week's episode. Up first today, we have 8 Billion Genies, the monumental ode to the worldwide wish fulfillment completes its history with an exploration of the first 8 centuries after the moment 8 Billion Genies appeared on Earth. We'll see how the last remaining wishes get used and discover the fates of the remaining characters we met at the Lampwick Tavern all that time ago. What's our wish? That you'll see us through, all the way to the end. Brought to you by Charles Soule and Ryan Brown, this is the final issue in the series finale, and it has a cover price of $3.99. Up next, we have Batman Incorporated issue number 7. No one is safe as Professor Pig continues on his warpath across Gotham. Meanwhile, Ghostmaker has the worst Gotham has to offer in his grasp, and he must decide whether to keep his promise to Bruce or find their reign of terror for good. Can Batman Incorporated find Pig in time to save the city? Brought to you by Ed Brisson and Michelle Bandini, this is the possible first-hand appearance of the Joker Incorporated, who includes Tap, Dance Man, Corvus Cowl, The Ghoul, Alpaca, Dusty Bronco, and Die Laughing, and this has a cover price of $3.99. Up next, we have X-23 Deadly Regenesis issue number two. An all-new villain is out for X-23's blood. X-23 has made her share of enemies, but this time, revenge is personal. Don't miss the debut issue of a never-seen-before X-Villain in the further adventures from Lori Kinney's Defining Era. Brought to you by Erica Schultz and Edgar Salazar. This is a key because solicitation references the debut issue of a never-before-seen X-Villain. It has a potential cameo in issue number one, and we're seeing a cover price of $3.99 on X-23. Up next, we have... Guardians of the Galaxy issue number one. One year ago, the Guardians of the Galaxy were destroyed. Their optimistic future shattered by the betrayal of one of their own. Now they ride the space lanes of a lawless corner of the galaxy trying to outrun their tragedy. Brought to you by Jackson Lansing, Colin Kelly, and Kev Walker, this is the introduction of Group Fall, a mysterious ominous phenomenon. And we're seeing a cover price of $4.99. In the last book here today, we have Marvel's Voices. Spider-Verse issue number one, an all-new selection of interdimensional adventures from some of Marvel's freshest and finest creators, each bringing their own unique perspectives and stylings to the web of life and destiny. Brought to you by writers Jeremy Holt, Steve Fox, Vita Ayala, Cheryl Lynn Eaton, Cody Ziegler, Jason Holtham, and Jason Liu, and we have artists Ken Lashley, Luciano Vecchio, Alberto Jimenez Albuquerque, Eric Coda, Janoi Lindsay, and Julian Shaw. This has many keys to it. This is the first appearance of Spider Friend, a Spider Man from sitcom universe, the first appearance of Recluse, and it's the first appearance of a female Craven in an alternate universe. And we're seeing a cover price of $9.99 with 92 pages. Now, moving on to my variant of the week, we got all the keys wrapped up. Now, I'm taking a look at what I expect to be my variant of the week. I'm going with the 1 in 10 John G. Yang variant for Marvel's Voices Spider-Verse issue number 1. I feel like John G. Yang always kills it with the vibrant colors and this one is no different. Seeing all the awesome characters on here, we got Spider-Punk, Miles Morales in the background, just so many cool Spider characters. I'm going with this one as my variant of the week and I hope I can pick this one up. If you watched my previous video featuring the ice cold keys I did in an all Spider-Man video, I don't. I did not intend to do this, but I feel like we're on the same path because for what I expect to be my re read of the week, I'm going with Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number five. New foe Rabble is superior to Spider-Man in every way. With terrifying abilities, an army of deadly attack drones, and a new class of Spider Slayer with the stolen powers of Classified, she's got Miles running scared, desperate to find a way, any way of fighting back. With the crazy cliffhanger in the last issue, I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm not sure how long this series is, but I hope it's nowhere near done. I'm looking forward to this one, and I definitely think it'll be my read of the week. 
So there you have it. Those are just the keys for the April 12th new comic book day. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. What key books are you going after this week? And what's your variant of the week? And what do you think will be your read of the week? Leave it in the comments below. Make sure you stay tuned at the end of the video to hit that playlist featuring all the just the keys because you may have missed some of the keys that have come out in previous new comic book days. So make sure you check out my most recent video prior to this one, which is the ice cold keys. Thank you all for watching. I'm Will the Comic Beast, and I'll catch you next time. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want